Um, this is a situation that we find ourselves in that we're still in the midst of America's racial reckoning. And so when I, when I, when I signal out publishing, I don't want to be like, there's the industry with the racism in it. No, it's an American industry. It was pretty much across the board for, for a long time and, and still is. But we know that traditionally publishing has had a problem with diversity and representation. We know that hopefully that's improving a little bit. What do you see publishing doing to improve that situation? And what is Trident Media Group doing to improve that? Uh, well, I mean, where I work, we have a lot of diverse authors, which, you know, we've sold to publishers. You know, the homepage of our website will exhibit that, you know, in an instant at a glance. Um, publishers, to their credit, have been voracious in acquiring a lot more books in that space. I write about this in a little bit in an article uh, I have on my blog called uh, We Need Diverse Jewish Books. And I talked about the history about how I think uh, the history of publishing and its background kind of we're living in the present day with what we have because of the way things are. Most people who work in book publishing are white, white and female, mostly. So in turn, what kinds of books are these editors going to be acquiring and publishing? I think some publishers, you know, looked at this for themselves. They looked, they took a hard look in the mirror and they said, we need more diversity at our companies. They started hiring, you know, more uh, diversity, but initially they kind of went about it in strange ways. Like at one of these publishing houses, they created a, like a diversity committee to try and foster this at the company. And the person they put in charge of it was a white woman which seems kind of backwards to me if you're trying to solve that problem. So um, yeah, there's some, some stuff like that going on where publishers just sort of need to learn their way a little better. And then I think a lot of it too is, um, I don't know, people should write the books they want to write and publishers should, should publish the books they really want to publish and not fear the social media mob or any of that. Uh, early on in the diverse books movement, um, people could, anyone could write a diverse book. Now it's very limited to, you have to be of that background to publish that book. And I think it's limit, that's limiting in some ways. You know, we're supposed to, it's like what Atticus Finch says, you have to walk, what does he say? You have to walk a mile in a man's shoes or, or whatever. Like, how are we going to learn to do that? I mean, yeah, we can read a book from someone in that, that perspective. But I think um, books will be very limited if people aren't able to think outside of themselves, basically. So that's kind of how I feel about it. But I just try to sell whatever I can to publishers that they are willing to buy and publish successfully. So if a client comes to you who's written about a character that's not reflective of their background, um, do you do you pull them aside and say, "Hey, let's let's get um, uh, awesome authenticity readers"? Is not the right right term. Yeah, yeah we we've done yeah. stuff like that, like a sensitivity read, or that's you know, the one. Yeah, we've done some of that. Um, or for instance, I had a graphic novel, "City of Dragons," by Jamal Yogis when it initially came to me. The main character, she was Chinese, and he was the writer on it. And I said, "I think you should find a Chinese graphic." um artist an artist to illustrate it and maybe she could be half white half chinese you know so sometimes it's just like rolling with the punches thinking of it in different ways that can kind of make more sense um because uh yeah i mean it's um it's kind of ruthless sometimes uh, how serious people are about this stuff you wouldn't you would think book publishing really or even as particularly in children's books for some reason, but it's kind of like that movie Elf where uh, with Will Ferrell, where they go and meet with the children's publisher and like, they're like fighting in the conference room or whatever. And, you know, my, my friends are watching this movie with me saying, publishing's not like that. And I said, children's books in particular can get like that. 